In this Sailing Doodles, we bug out from a lockdown Puerto Rico and head over to the Virgin Islands where things are a bit more relaxed. This season of Sailing Doodles features Bobby, Taylor, and Punky as we set sail for the Caribbean in our 1989 CT56. This channel is made possible by our patrons who get early access to videos and exclusive content. In the previous video, Taylor got a tattoo, and then we took you on a tour of Old Town San Juan, Puerto Rico. On March 15th, Puerto Rico's governor issued a mandatory island-wide curfew that was later changed to 7 p.m. This shut down all non-essential businesses, which included marina and marine services. You weren't even allowed to leave your house except for three days a week and depending on the last digit of your license. This was meant to last for two weeks, but lasted over two months. Well, I've just spent the last couple hours working on electrical issues here. Our inverter stopped charging the batteries and I went through everything, checked everything, double checked it. Finally got on the phone with uh, Mastervolt and they've got a software error in their unit and they're aware of it. So they have to send us out this part to update their software. But we're in the middle of a lockdown in Puerto Rico. Marine services were considered non-essential, so I couldn't get any parts or supplies to fix my boat. So we showed you what it was like in the grocery store right before they announced all the quarantines and everything. It was actually right, right after Trump uh, closed everything to Europe. So we'll see what it's like in there now. In just a few days, the shelves were looking a lot more barren. There's definitely some things are out of, mostly like cleaners and like eggs, but I mean, there's plenty of food here. It's not like a shortage. And yes, there is a ton of toilet paper. It's been crazy how fast this has all escalated. Like we started out the one day just doing some basic provisioning when, uh, when the US had announced that they were closing their borders to Europe. And now Puerto Rico is actually fully on lockdown. Yeah, so Puerto Rico, it, and it's a bit, look, I don't want to get into the politics of it. They have five cases in Puerto Rico and they're shutting down the entire island. Uh, you know, no works. You, the only things that are open are gas stations and grocery stores and banks and pharmacies. And so it makes things really difficult because we had our inverter charger had a malfunction on it. We've since had it corrected. We called the manufacturer and they worked us through a couple steps and fixed it. Fixed it. But uh, we weren't able to charge the batteries off the uh, off the battery charger. And so all we had was solar, which was not enough to keep it up. And so we actually ended up having to go buy a battery charger that we could plug in to charge batteries and it still wasn't enough because only a 10 amp we the only thing we place we could go to buy anything was walmart and so we had to buy the cheapest little battery charger they had which it says it's 10 amps it wasn't and uh, anyway so it's been a real big hassle um we are going to go anchor off now and just be in our own little world for a while we got yeah we got a couple months worth of food and supplies um we should be good to go um, and we can't even get fuel here in Puerto Rico. Like they have the fuel dock shut down. I mean, so yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna head head over to the USVI um, where it's everything's still open. We'll go to the marina there, get fuel, and then we're gonna go anchor out and uh, just be self sufficient for a couple weeks or more. It is dark and early. Good morning. Good morning. The sun's not up. There's another boat doing the same thing we are. Somebody leaving. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get out of here right now. Um, uh, we did a video on basically the coronavirus up to date for us. Uh, there's a link popping up for that now if you'd like to watch it. We are leaving Puerto Rico, going to go to the U.S. Virgin Islands. Where things are somewhat normal, are we here, they're thinking closed and stuff, but we can at least get fuel and boat parts, which we cannot get here in Puerto Rico. Yeah, those are some necessities that we can't really go without yeah. lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we are off. The crew is pulling up fenders and lines, and we're headed to the USVI. It's about... I think it's about 40 miles, so we're looking at about six or seven hours over there. Well, unfortunately, we're heading straight into the trade winds today. We I can already see Culebra out there. It's the island in the distance. We're gonna head just to the south of that, head to St. Thomas, um, where we're gonna get fuel at Crown Bay Marina. And then we'll go anchor out. Um, our friend Steven Loretta that you met um, in the Mediterranean are there. So uh, we're gonna kind of quarantine from each other until the weekend because they just flew in on Monday and it's just the safer thing to do. At this point, I wasn't actually sure if we were allowed to leave, but we left at dawn anyway. Well, 
Puerto Rico has given us a very warm goodbye with a beautiful rainbow, and I'm super stoked. It's kind of bittersweet to leave. I mean, it kind of sucks this whole coronavirus thing, but Puerto Rico has really been such a beautiful island, very good to us. Probably one of my favorite places that we've stopped at so far. How does it feel to be moving, Punky? Feels good. I've been waiting for this day for a while now. Stuck in marinas. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Feel seasick at all? No. No? Good. <laughs> awesome. We're all doing pretty good here on the Naughty Dogs. We were pretty bummed as we passed by Culebra as that's one of the places we really wanted to see, but St. Thomas was on the horizon. We're almost there! We are only a couple miles out from arriving in St. Thomas. Uh, we're just gonna go into the marina to fuel up and then we're gonna be anchoring out. Our friends Steve and Loretta are supposed to be in this bay. They were coming to check it out earlier to see if there's enough room. If not, then we're gonna go wherever they ended up, maybe St. John or something. So we'll check it out, do a little drive by and then head up to uh, Crown Bay Marina, get fueled and maybe come back. So we swung by the bay on the way up to get fuel. Social distancing! Yeah, right? <laughs> We need to keep our distance from you. So everybody has the same idea we have. Everybody wants to get fuel before they shut everything down. There's another boat out here waiting. There's a couple boats inside already getting fuel. And so there's a queue to get fuel. Well, uh, convenient timing. Just upon our arrival to the field dock, we got absolutely poured on. Everything soaked. Yeah. But uh, at least we're getting fuel. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. I was gonna try to do this, but I'm gonna wait. I don't wanna get water in the tank, so I'm gonna wait till it stops raining. After fueling, we headed back down to Druff Bay. We have successfully anchored here off of Water Island. Uh, since we got it all good to go, we are gonna make a quick run into town before they, I mean, who knows when they'll close stuff down, because somebody broke the coffee pot this morning. Yeah, that person was, yeah, should, should get fired. Yeah, they should. And then we're gonna go hang out on the beach before they close all the stuff down. This place is really well stocked. This place is stocked even better than Puerto Rico was, in my opinion, so nothing bad here. I don't think they're in any danger of running out of food anytime soon, but that was pretty well stocked, especially yeah. the produce and all that. Yeah, really good. Yeah. And I mean, especially for it being a small island, yeah. you know, like they were doing pretty well. Well, I think the more remote we are, the better we're gonna be. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the mainland, you go to, you hear all the, the grocery stores are just empty because people are freaking out buying everything. Yeah. So. They did say here that uh, the only thing that's closed is schools so far. Yeah, schools. Other it. than that, everything's running. They're just monitoring how many people are allowed in certain stores. Yeah. Um, but other than that, USBI is doing pretty good right now. Yep. We dropped the groceries off of the boat and then headed to the beach. Most tourists had already left the island, so only the cruisers remained. Alright, so we are social distancing. There you go. Sorry, guys. We're touching. Yeah. We're respecting the quarantine laws. Hey, it's a, we're quarantined, but hey, it's a good place to be. 